afternoon. This is Nita and Kitty Blaze with the Timepiece Garden. Yes, I'm in the workshop. Um, I don't know what the issue is. I think I have an allergy or something. And I think it's a, a leaf mold or something. that Because uh, we go through all the rain and the snow and the ice. And then we have like two days of dry. And then it rains again. And I mean, nothing is really dry. Um, so my assumption is that when I'm down in the... Uh, I don't know, down in the stack working on clearing the next area of the garden that I'm digging up something that's allergying me. And I say that because when I've worked in the garden yesterday, when I get up today, um, my head feels like it wants to explode. I end up with a headache. Um, and by noon-ish, it, uh, it's gone. Yay! Um, but I kill most of my day with it because it's just... Meow, I know you're up there. I saw it, you. Kitty place. Meow. Meow, meow. I know you like it up there. You go help. You go say meow, meow, meow. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in the workshop today. Um, I have been wanting to, and it wasn't a priority, um, but I'm gonna see if I can stay out of the weeds for a day and see if I wake up tomorrow with a headache or not. That way, I know. That it is just an allergy, or maybe I'm actually getting sick, I'm coming down with something, or does that make sense? You just kind of kind of knock stuff out. So let's not work in the garden areas today. Let's not work there. Let's work in the wood shop. And what I'm going to do is I have this awesome piece of 2 by 12 and I've got another piece there, and they're leftovers from where I made the uh, the loft ladder. There's the kitty. Ew. Um, yeah, which is perfect size. For a bench. I mean, just a basic bench. This is more than enough to sit on. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just... So, I won't lie, I did a little research this morning, and I found a, a DIY simple bench thingy, um, free download, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will post a picture of that at the end of the video and give the company the, the, the credit that they're due because it's not my design, it's their design, but it's a very simple bench. And it talks about using 2 by 12 for the bench, two by 12 for the, the primary leg, and then a piece of two by four for the, the bracket support in the middle. And I have that in here. So let me get to work. And um, yeah, let me make a bench. And I will talk at you in a little while. All right, first things first, put the black squares down. Make sure the door does in fact open over them. And it does, opens and closes. No issues, nothing reaches, nothing grabs. Um, yeah, I will tell you, standing up here, it's actually really cushy on them. Um, so, so far so good. Now we'll see if, if the end coming out this far is too much, I might just end up double stacking them. Um, we'll see, you know, we'll just, we'll see. That's kind of good, kind of good, kind of cool. Supervisor approves. <laughs> yeah, she's been tracking dirt in for me. Thanks, Panda. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna actually get it started on the deck. Now that I got the uh, the deck, I'm sorry, the bench. Now that I got the yeah the floor mat in. All right, talk to you in a few. Dun dun dun, the bench. All right, so it was again the leftover two by twelve, and the um. What a leftover piece of two by four. Um, the bench length is 40 inches. Um, that gave me um, a foot and a half or, or 18 inch sides, um, which is a 20 inch sitting space. Um, partially because I've got to fit it fitted in between the two windows. And um, I didn't cut my two by four there. That is the perfect size. Does that make sense? So. Um, it calls for, for four inches to be on, on the inside there. I got like four and a half. It's okay. It, it's not going to make a difference, truly. My opinion. Um, you know, I think it came out well. Um, I've sat on it. It didn't break. Got the little V thingies on the side. Isn't that cute? Now, having said that, I need to c take it up to the front porch. Um... My sander is electric, and I don't have the electric back here that will run my sander. So I'm going to have to take it up to the front porch. Not today. Um, 
and then sand it because you can see where I was doing all my measurements, making sure I had everything lined up correctly. Um, there you can see where I was doing measurements. So I'm going to sand that stuff off. And then I will bring it back here because I've got a, a bottle of polyurethane or spar urethane um, to help prevent with moisture, etc. It's on one of the shelves. Anyway, I'm going to put a layer of it on there. So should the chickens poop on it or should the rain blow over on the um oh, on the porch, you know, there's a little protection on it type thing. So, but otherwise came out pretty good. Life is awesome. Now again, I will put something either at the beginning or at the end that has the name of where I got this from. This was not my idea. I would say it was like DTY, DIY wood or DIY crafts.com, something like that. Again, I will put it at the end or I'll put it in the notes or, you know, it's one of those give credit where credit is due. This was not my design. Um, 10 deck screws and we're in. Three across the top on each side. And then two in the two by four on each end. And three and a half inch long deck screws. Um, it's pretty stable. So life is awesome. And with that, I got to clean up a little more sawdust. And I will talk to you later. So that's where the bench is supposed to go. Um, in between the two windows and, and the, the boxes. Now that's exactly, from box to box is exactly 48 inches. Um, the, the bench I did is only um, 40 inches, which will give me four inches worth of space in between here and the nesting box. So about where that about, where that about ends. That does is that prevents you from sitting here and smacking your head. Um, when I finish the bench and move it up here, I will have to move kitty stuff just a little. Um, I know you are you going to need to veto us, huh, Kitty Blaze? He's like, move my stuff. Why are you moving my stuff? Um, I want to move his cover down so it starts at that pole, not at this pole. Um, that way I can move his house down just a little so there is a gap between his his patio and where he eats, makes sense, and where the bench starts. So it just needs to move down a little. Not an issue. I mean, there's there's room here and, and here and because this is sealed you know it'll be fine it'll work everything will slide down just well and I'll have an actual bench instead of a instead of the stool and you can see the, the holes on the back side this thing is so old I'm surprised I can sit on it still <laughs> you know just so we're aware and maybe I'll move it to the workshop and it can last a little longer back there because I wouldn't sit on it as often. But I sit on it out here routinely when I'm messing with the kitty or hanging out with Panda. Um, there are times when Panda likes me to be outside with her. I think all the animals do, even the chickens. They're like, oh, mom's down here talking and they're down here doing the chicken thing. You know, everybody likes to be together. So, but this is where it's going to go. And I think it'll be awesome. And with that, I will talk to you later.